Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 648. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 648 to 660. Hey, uh, so at YouTube, I have made over 1,000 videos, and finally, I have a book, a published book coming out called Slain Excel Dragons. It's not going to be out for about a month, but you can go and uh, search Amazon for it and pre-order it. Hey, 648, we have a silly trick here. Uh, someone asked about um, a data set like this. And when I get questions, uh, you know, I have to quickly simulate this data set. And so here's how I did this one. This is just a silly formula. It's going to be a text formula. But notice, what's the pattern? Product, 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 product in every cell. One, 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 two, two, two. So somehow we have to get ones. But we go, when we go down to the next row, we need twos. And we need A, B, C. A, B, C. So as we go across the co the columns, we need to go from A, B, C. But when we go down, and we need to start over. So we're going to do a text formula equals. Actually, why don't I blow this up a little bit? Equals products. In quotes, the word product. In double quote. So that's just text. And now we need to somehow, and I put a space there. Now we need to get a one, um, a one for this row here. So I'm going to uh, do ampersand, and I'm going to use the rows function. And I'm sitting in E1, and I want it one, one, one. But when I go down here, and move to two. So I'm going to do E dollar sign one colon E1. What this will do is. Uh, when we go this direction, we'll always be in row whatever it is. So the 1 will always be 1. So it'll always give us that. But when we move down, let's just see how this works. We see all the 1's. But when we move down, what it did is it expanded from 1 to 2. So that's a, a clever way of getting 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2. Now the next part involves a letter. And before we amend our formula up here, let's just look at the character function. The character function. Uh, spits out ASCII characters, 259, 255 of them. 65 is the capital letter A. 66 is the B. And 67 is C. So somehow we need to get 65, 66, 67. But when we go down, we need to start back at 65, 66, 67. So why don't we just try this here. We're going to start at 65. And we're going to add. Now, right now, we need to add 0, because that's A, and then 1 and 2. So I'm going to do not rows, but columns. I'm still sitting in, I'm going to be in E1. So I'm going to build it down here like I'm in E1. But I need to lock the column reference instead of the row reference. Now, that right now, how many columns are there? E to E is 1. So we need to subtract 1, because we really want 0, 1, 2. Let's just see if that works. And sure enough, it does. So we can, uh, I'm going to put it F2, copy this, escape, and then hit delete, because I don't want that there. Highlight this one, F2, and then ampersand, Control V. And that formula will work. Totally silly. You'll probably never have to use that. But um, one thing we can learn here is just that patterns 1, 1, 1, and then 2, 2, 2, A, B, C, A, B, C. So we had to think in Excel function language how to create that pattern. Control Enter, drag it over, and drag it all the way down. All right, that's a lot faster than. You know, typing it out or something like that. All right. Well, and actually, uh, next two tricks are sort of related. We'll use the same uh, data set. Um, all right. See you next trick.